good day good evening guys this is sj tech so i'm going to be showing you how to use your tools in creating an app and we're going to be creating a web app which is a browser first of all you do is to click this plus sign we're going to give your application a name i'm going to be giving my application by the name sj browser now you choose any app icon you desire you can choose any app icon you desire as i go with mine so you click this advanced settings now you change this package name to whatever you like but you have to follow the pattern which is com dot something dot something now your project name should be same as your your app name browser now you click create app you wait for some time it loads now these are the tools I told you about so this is what we're going to be using so firstly we drag in our linear view oh sorry firstly this you go to this main xml you click it now i want us to be removing this toolbar because it's not necessary for a, a browser so you click on toolbar and it's gone this is for status bar but we need it so we just remove the toolbar now screen orientation should be both your keyboard settings should be hidden now this screen orientation where we are putting it both so that you could use it in portrait and in landscape so you save and you go back to the main screen first what you are going to be doing you are going to be imputing linear H so you hold it then you take it to the app to the screen as you can see let me go over it again you hold it and take it to the screen and you let go of it now we are going to be changing the width of the linear view to match parent match parent secondly what we're doing is we're going to be changing the name for easy identification because it gets confusing sometimes so we're going to be changing the name you can give yours any name but i'm going to be giving my header header one so next we take in our linear h i gave you the definition of this linear h linear v scroll h and scroll v now what we'll do now i'm going to be giving my new name go to this id this id over here this id over there click on it and give it a name a name you know you can identify so i'm going to be giving mine header t and click save header t now what i'm going to do now i'm going to be clicking on header one for easy identification you click this button it's going to show you all the headers so i click on header one and what i do now is this i go to the height for header one this is the height i click on it and I choose wrap content as you can see then I bring in another linear V change the width to match parent I go over to the naming change the name so I'll be giving my footer one 
whatever you are, you are comfortable with then like we did in the first place bring in a linear hitch a linear hitch i'm going to be naming it footer t footer t i save so we are not doing anything with the height and the width for that one now what we'll do now is this click on this button to bring out all that we've placed inside and we'll go to header one which is this now you go to your height in header one and you choose you go to your height in header one and you choose match parent then you go to the weight sum the weight sum which is this you click on it change it to one so we're almost done then you go to padding padding which is this you click on it and you change it to you change it to zero you change all to zero just click zero then all is zero yeah so all zero then you save then you save watch closely watch closely now you go to your footer one footer one and you click on the padding change it to zero then you save so i'm going to be leaving this for you guys this evening so you'd go over it thank you very much keep being awesome